The black lights inside the world of professional boxing describes a small, self-contained arc. A few years in the career of a boxer named Billy Costello, at one time a super lightweight title holder from Kingston, New York, like Muhammad Ali, it is a sympathetic study of its primary subject. Costello, his manager Mike Jones, and their family and associates, yet in the intricacies of a compelling narrative taking us through the preparation for a successful title offense of 1984, it illuminates aspects of the boxing world generally unknown to outsiders. The routine and discipline of the boxer in training, the complex role of the fight manager, the exhausting contractual negotiations, the state of this red light district. Professional boxing is no longer worthy of civilized society. It's run by self-serving crooks who are called promoters. Except for the fighters, you're talking about human scum. Professional boxing is utterly immoral. It's not capable of reformation. I now favor the abolition of professional boxing. You'll never clean it up. Mud can never be clean. Howard Cosell quoted in The Black Lights. Like others sympathetic with boxers who are in fact poorly paid, non-unionized workers with no benefits in a monopolistic business without antitrust control, Hauser argues strongly for a national association to regulate the sport, a federal advers adversary panel to protect boxers from exploitation. His portrait of Billy Costello allows us to see why a young man will so eagerly risk injuries in the ring, which is perceived as a lifeline and not a place of exploitation why he will devote himself to the rigors of training in a sport which, literally, one's entire career can end within a few seconds. Black Lights ends dramatically with Costello retaining his title against a 37-year-old opponent, Saul Mamby, with the hope of moving up in weight and making more money. Since its publication in 1986, the book has become a boxing classic. It is wonderfully readable, and unlike Ali, judiciously proportioned. Yet to the end, the book with this victory is surely misleading, and even to this reader perplexing. The black lights of unconsciousness, which would be experienced by Billy Costello shortly and about, with a dazzling, arrogant, and idiosyncratic Ali-inspired young boxer named, at the time, Lightning Lonnie Smith, who would KO Costello in one of those nightmares all boxers have, before a hometown audience in Kingston. Following that devastating loss, Costello would fight the aging Alexis Arguello, one of the great lightweights of contemporary times, who would beat him savagely and end his career. To end with a tentative victory and not supply at least a coda to take us to the collapse of Billy Costello's career deprives black lights of its significance it might have had for boxing is about failure far more than it is about success. In the words of the battered Sal Mambi, I'll miss it. I love boxing. Everything passed too soon. This is the end of The Cruelest Sport by Joyce Carol Oates.